Is that a siphonophore again? Siphonophores? Very weird. It might be. I... All right, Cordez, tell us what this is. <laughs> I think it is. Yep. Ready? Here we come. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh. He's going to a cave. He's going to go hide. So for those who haven't seen our go ahead, Drake. earlier siphonophore sightings, uh, these are colonial animals, so not just one animal, but animal, but made up of many. The best known of these animals is the Portuguese wow. man of war. That's right. Yeah, the Portuguese man of war is the colonial. Wow. Wow. Just passing through. On his way to uh, the next bubble site, right? He was yeah, we were just hanging out with his cousin in the Gulf of Mexico. Right. Like a chainsaw. I mean, these are. Must be feeding. I was going to say that those are those are. Does it tentacles stand up feeding, pulling things towards the mouth? I mean, how mobile? How much is he in control? Are they in control? <laughs> wow. Still shedding some variety. <laughs> See him retract. So those are feed, probably feeding appendages, right? Like, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, with, with nematocysts and things? So some siphonophores, I've just read, can be up to 40 to 50 meters long. Some siphonophores can be up to 40 to 50 meters long. Next watch. <laughs> On our next watch, we'll find a bigger one. The 12 to 4 can do it. <laughs> Guys are good at finding bubbles. He's drifting down slope, huh? Just with the current, I guess, yeah. So it's rearranged it itself like it's a, at a couple times. Do we know what it's, why it's doing that? I think it did get snagged, and, and that's what drew, it drew out. You know, why what we saw it elongated because it was being kind of caught on the rock. So the lower part, that's kind of the frilly part. I think that's the where it, it resembles the uh, the mantle of the the Portuguese man of war. The nematis is the that's where the stinging cells are. And, and that's all the zoom and all the light I have. Eric Cordes says that the, they have very strong nematocysts, very strong stinging cells. So, yeah, see, so it's sort of being retracted yes. now. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So it kind of lets them out. <laughs> yeah, they're seismic streams. <laughs> they catch something. For those just joining us on Nautilus Live, many of you will have seen the stunning siphonophore video that's been trending on Reddit this summer. We are currently diving at the Barbados mud volcanoes at a depth of 1,276 meters, and we have come across another siphonophore. It's a colonial animal, so it's made up of many individual animals. Seems like those guys are delta good in that part have a little plenty of tether. jet, or like they can squish the water. Jake, you got to zoom out for me to pull in again. What if you don't like your position there on the, the yeah, front? Yeah, I wonder, can you change? Can you get demoted or promoted? Or say you don't want to be part of the chainsaw bit. Can you right. switch to being part of the other bit? The stinger bit? Yeah. Because those guys in the back get to decide what they eat. The guys up in the front get to decide where they go. <laughs> Who's driving this bus? <laughs> I see you copy. We're almost out of tether. We copy. Yeah. We are uh, quite content with okay, this. Okay, good. We're definitely going to get a lot of karma. Good, good. <laughs> 